एवरीवन दिस इज शेली एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट एक्सफोलिएशन एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू टच दिस टॉपिक इन डिटेल मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन Firstly most of the time many of us are not aware like what's the right kind of exfoliator we should be using for our skin type and concern and secondly many times we end up overdoing it with which in the long run can be really damaging to our skin since this is such a vast topic i decided to break it into two parts and in this video that is part 1 i will be focusing on like why you should be exfoliating and what's the problem when it comes to exfoliation and then i will be sharing different types of exfoliator and focusing mainly on the chemical exfoliators so we actually shed dead skin cells from our head to toe and on our face uh, our skin not only uh, get exposed to this uh, dead skin cells but along with that it also experiences lot of pollution dust allergens and also the excessive sebum and sweat because if these uh, dead skin cells if gets accumulated on our face they make our skin look dull and patchy and also they can hamper or interfere the proper absorption of the product that you are using and finally and very importantly these dead skin cells are the major culprit behind breakout like what happens is uh, when these dead skin cells enter our pores and get mixed up with the sebum they result in the formation of blackheads and whitehead uh, like this a uh, clogged pore if it is an open one that looks like a blackhead something like this and if this clogged pore is a closed one that looks like a whitehead and if the bacteria enters this whitehead it result in inflammation and therefore breakout so this is why everybody stresses on the fact that exfoliation should be done and uh, it will keep your skin healthy and overall in a good condition so the next question which comes is uh, like if the exfoliation is so amazing it is so helpful for our skin then where is the problem the problem is that we end up overdoing it like unknowingly like i have done it too we sometime end up using two or more exfoliating products in the same skincare routine or sometime like unknowingly we are uh, doing it on a daily basis so this in the long run can be really damaging to your skin like it can result in redness irritation more breakout more dryness dehydration dullness and like at worst case it can give you that very painful stinging skin this is actually i feel that why we are overdoing it it's because of the pressure from everywhere like everybody just says exfoliate exfoliate to get that glass skin to get that smooth skin like it is the only solution in the world to get the best skin but that's not true if you have to get a proper a good skin you need to have a holistic approach like it includes lot of thing so anyway let's not go off the topic so coming back to the topic uh we have three different kinds of exfoliator the physical chemical and hybrid one and like i said in this video i will be focusing mainly on the chemical exfoliators so chemical exfoliator get rid of the dead skin cells by dissolving or melting away the dead skin cells on our face so we have four different kinds of chemical exfoliator number one is the beta hydroxy acid and second one is the alpha hydroxy acid and the third one is the poly hydroxy acid also known as pha and finally the fourth one is the fruit enzyme beta hydroxy acid is an oil loving acid and it is able to penetrate deeper into our skin and this is why it is able to efficiently get rid of the trapped dead skin cells as well as the excessive sebum one which is trapped in our pores and this is the reason why beta hydroxy acid is considered as a best friend of the oily skin people because with the regular usage it will get rid of the blackhead as well as uh, prevents the breakout which are mainly caused by the excessive oil on your face so you will find beta hydroxy acid in the form of uh, either salicylic acid betaine salicylate below bark extract and the latest one is the lipo hydroxy acid which is nothing but a uh, salicylic acid derivative and is considered very mild and many people say that even the sensitive skin can use it like i have not still tried out the lha let's see if i do in the future i will definitely share whether 
my skin liked the LHA, LHA or not. Now I will be sharing some of the BHA products that different skin types can use it. So the first product is the Coelsia Lime Co Cleansing Oil. It contains 0.1% of lime extract and willow bark extract has its key ingredient to help clean out your pores and this is basically your uh, makeup remover or a first step cleanser so you use it on your dry face massage add a little water to emulsify and again massage and rinse it off with plain water and then you have to use a foaming cleanser after this so why i decided to include this like if you are somebody who cannot use uh, bha in your product and bha dry out your skin so this is the product which you can use on a daily basis to clean out your pores and keep your skin healthy next are the bha based cleanser and i have here a very famous cosrx low ph good morning gel cleanser Inkylist salicylic acid cleanser and finally the Jumiso cleanser. So all of these cleanser contains beta hydroxy acid and this is why they are perfect for the oily skin people and uh, if you are like combination skin use these cleanser only during the summer time because in the winter time it can dry out your skin and the next product is the very potent BHA product and it is the Cosrx BHA blackhead power liquid and this particular product contains 4% of beta and salicylate and 67% of willow bark extract and this is why it is ideal for the oily skin people like if you have oily skin use this uh, like start with once in a week and if your skin permits you can build it up two three times per week and use it at night only and if you have like normal dry combination skin use it only one time per week and if you have sensitive skin avoid this exfoliator this is not for you so use this uh, product after you have cleansed your face take a little on cotton puff and swipe it across your face and then you can move on to your hydrating toner serum and moisturizer and next set of acids are from the AHAs and AHAs are the water loving acid and they are only able to work on the skin surface that is why they are effective only in getting rid of the dead skin cells that is only on your skin surface so if your uh, key skin goals include like getting bright smooth skin getting rid of the acne scars and getting rid of the whiteheads then AHAs are the right acid for you so there are six different kinds of AHA the first one is the glycolic acid and then we have the lactic acid and third one is the mandalic acid and then we have the malic acid and then tartaric acid and finally the citric acid the glycolic acid has the smallest molecular size and this is why it is able to work quickly in short amount of time and can many times sting on skin but as you move down from top to bottom the molecular size of the acid increases and therefore their potency decreases so if you have an issue of sensitivity or if you are the beginners you should be focusing on the uh, lower acids because they are sensitive skin friendly and do not often sting on your skin now I will be sharing all the AHAs based product but one thing I want to say that uh, make sure you are using any one of these AHA and you are using them at night and do not use them daily. So the first one is the Cosrex AHA Whitehead Power Liquid. This contains 7% of glycolic acid and this is why it's not that beginner friendly uh, but is very effective in getting rid of whiteheads and giving that smooth bright skin. So if you have normal dry combination and oily skin, you can use this AHA uh, two times per week. But if you have sensitive skin, use it only one time per week. And also use this after you have cleansed your face. Take a little on cotton puff and swipe it across your face and then move on to a hydrating toner, serum, moisturizer and whatever you love to use for that day but make sure you are not using any other exfoliator next product is the Essentry clear skin 8% AHA essence and this contains 4% of lactic acid and 4% of glycolic acid and this is why it is more beginner friendly and sensitive skin friendly and since this is an essence use this after you have cleansed your face 
use your toner then take a little on your palm and pat it on your face and then move on to your uh, serum and moisturizer and also i feel that this aha essence is not very oily skin friendly and it is best suited for uh, rest of the skin type and if you have like normal combination dry skin you can use this one to three times per week and if you have sensitive skin you can use this one or two times per week and the next product is the Biovestrend Mandalic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water and this contains 5% of Mandalic Acid and Mandalic Acid has a very unique property of both AHA and BHA like along with the surface exfoliation it also helps in calming the skin and clearing out your pores and getting rid of blackhead so if you are somebody whose skin just hate BHA or cannot tolerate BHA so you can give a try to the mentalic acid and one thing I want to say that result might not be as good as the BHA one but still in the long run you will see good result if you have oily skin you can use this particular acid two to four times per week and if you have like dry normal skin and combination skin you can use this uh, one to three times per week and sensitive skin should use this only one to two times per week and the next product is the Claire's daily skin softening water and this is more like a daily exfoliating toner and it is because it contains only 0.15 percentage of citric acid and some fraction of uh, sugarcane extract and uh, apple fruit water and both of these ingredients are rich in natural AHA and also it contains uh, 45 percentage of cucumber water which is a good hydrating and calming ingredient and so if you are somebody who avoids uh, like serious exfoliator or your skin just cannot tolerate rate exfoliation but still if you need uh, something that will get rid of the uh, dead skin cell on your skin so this particular product is for you and if you have like normal oily skin you can use this daily like start with two three times per week and if you see that your skin is tolerating you can use this daily and if you have uh, uh, combination dry normal skin uh, you can use this uh, three four times in a week and sensitive skin can also use this you use this after you have cleansed your face like take a little on cotton puff and swipe it across your face and then move on to your hydrating toner use your essence serum and moisturizer and I must say that this is by far the most gentle exfoliating product I have ever used like it hardly exfoliate your skin but still provides that exfoliation benefit and I also want to mention that some of the sleeping mask and moisturizer can also contain acid like for instance the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask contains both glycolic acid and lactic acid in its ingredient list and so I will suggest that you don't use it daily and can use it like three maybe maximum four times in a week and the naked face 10 percentage AHA scaling cream contains 10 percentage of glycolic acid and so it is recommended that you do not use it daily like if you have normal dry and combination skin you can use it one to two times per week at max on your entire face and if you have uh, sensitive skin like me use it as a spot treatment on your acne scar maybe three four times per week at night and gradually you will see that your acne starts like they start fading away so a very common thing which i often get asked is uh, can we use aha and bha in the same skincare routine and i will suggest do not do this mistake because in the long run you will end up damaging your skin but if still your skin needs the AHA and BHA what you can do is uh, like say if you have uh, oily skin uh, you can use AHA once a week at night and you can use BHA product two times in a week at night if you have normal dry and combination skin use AHA one time a week and use BHA one time a week and for sensitive skin uh, I will suggest that you stay away from BHA and use only AHA one time a week and if you're still is still in the need of BHA you can use BHA product two times per month 
and the next thing which will come is uh, what about the product that already contains both AHA and BHA like those are the product you can still use because the brand has formulated in a very safer way and in a very stable way so that it doesn't harm your skin uh, like for instance the uh, drunk elephant TLC prime boost which is something I absolutely love and uh, it contains uh, AHA and BHA in good 12 percentage but still it is safer to use and like if you have oily skin you can use it uh, two three times per week and if you have like normal dry combination skin you can use it one or two times in a week and like if you have sensitive skin use this product only one time per week and still if you're not comfortable uh, you can dilute it uh, like in one to one ratio with the marula oil or you can also dilute it in one to one ratio with your favorite moisturizer and the other uh, product which is very famous is uh, Cosrex AHA BHA clarifying toner it is something many people use it and love it and I feel that if you have oily skin you can use this particular toner regularly on a daily basis mm -hmm. and if you have sensitive skin you can use it maybe two three times in a week and that should be sufficient the other common thing which I often get asked is uh, can I use uh, AHA and BHA with vitamin C and retinol or everything in the same routine and my answer is no don't do it you will end up damaging your skin very badly uh, but still if you want to use all of these ingredients in your skincare routine what you can do is you can alternate them in the different skincare routine uh, say for example uh, you want to use all of the four and you can use AHA on Monday night BHA on Wednesday night and retinol on Friday night and uh, you can use uh, vitamin C like a pure vitamin C serum on Saturday or Sunday night and the next thing which you guys must be thinking is uh, what about the product that already contains AHA, BHA and vitamin C and you can use these products safely because the formulator know what they are doing and how they have done and they know how to make a formula safe for our daily usage but do not make a cocktail of your own. So let me stop this video here itself and I will see you all again in the part 2 of this video and until then bye bye.